Okay, let's take one problem where I will show you how you compare decimals and arrange them in ascending order. So you are asked to compare the following decimals. There are actually three of them in number. Let me call them as A, B and C and arrange them in an ascending order. Ascending means what? It's an increasing order. Right? So basically you have three of them. Let me write it as A, B and C. As I told you earlier as well, when you have to compare any numbers, okay, comprising of decimals, the first thing we do is we compare their whole number part. Every decimal number is divided into two parts. One is the whole part and the other is the decimal part. So the whole number part of A is 43. For B, also it is 43. And for C, again, it is 43. So does this help us in making a decision? The answer is no. Once the whole number passes through, then we move on to the decimal part. So the first one that we consider is the tenth place. Right? In A, the tenth place is what? It is 6. In B, the tenth place is what? It is again 6, which is this one. And in C, again, the tenth place is 6. Right? Since all these three are equal, it doesn't help us in terms of our decision making. Now, we move on to the hundredth part. Now, the hundredth value, which is there in A is 7, in B again it is 7, and in C also it is 7. Right? Since these are equal in all these three, we can't compare which one is the elder one or the larger one. Moving on to the fourth one, which is the thousandth value. Let me use an orange color for this. It's 9 in A, it's 0 in B, and it is 9 in C. So clearly, amongst these three, we know 0 is the least one. So this has to be the smallest. Right? While in 9 and 9, both these are equal, so we need to move one place forward in respect of these two numbers. But now comes the question, which is that after 9, I don't have any digits over here. Whereas I have 3 at the 10,000th place in the C point. Here it is obviously not applicable because this is the smallest number. So if I have to write in the ascending order, obviously 43.670 is the smallest one of these three. Coming back, since I don't have anything here, what do I do? I need to make these two decimals like decimals. And how do you do that? These aren't like decimals. Why? Because if I see here, I have three decimal places. Here I have four decimal places. So I will just add a zero over here. Right? Now if you compare between zero and three, which is bigger? Three. So obviously 43.6793 is greater than 43.679 or 43.6790. So this was the smallest. So let's say if I give it number three, this is less than this so this is number two and this is number one or in other words this is the biggest one right so the smallest one i've already plotted here then the second one which is 43.679 is the second number and the largest one is 43.6793 right again the simple rule is that we had to convert this into a like decimal of course, I didn't do it in the first stage because in many cases you may not be even required to do that. Right? Uh, if you want to take up a problem, okay, let me give you 32.67, 32.769 and 32.768. You can just compare these three and find out which one is the largest decimals. Okay? 
I'm just crossing the answer after five seconds so you can just pause it right away so in the ascending order basically the answer is one two and three right thank you for being with us today look forward to having you in many more videos on decimals and mathematics in general.